Kayak safety gear is one of the most important aspects of kayaking. Number one kayak safety gear that you can have is a life jacket. A life jacket must be fitted properly and must also be designed for the sport that you're doing. The kayaking life jackets are short torso, so allows you ample room to move your arms and when you're sitting down, doesn't ride up. When you put on your life jacket, make sure all the straps are tightened and that it won't rise up on you. Now, the next important piece of safety gear, which is second to the life jacket, is a whistle. A whistle is very important. It can be heard a long distance. If you get in trouble, you can blow it once for attention. You can also, if it, in a, an emergency where you need help, you can blow it three times. Three times is an international sign of distress and if someone hears that, they're going to investigate uh, or send help. Now, another piece of important safety gear is a first aid kit. Hopefully you never have to use this, but if you have it with you, your chances of using it are slim. Now, inside the first aid kit, you should have one of those energy bars, um, also some water tablets, just in case if you get out longer than you're planning. Your safety kit should be stored in a dry bag. Dry bag is a great place for keys, wallet, cell phones, anything that you want to keep dry. Once you have your first aid kit, another piece of equipment that you should have is a tow line. There are tow lines that you can tie to the back of your kayak that you can use to help tow somebody or somebody can tow you if need be. This one is designed to wear around your waist, allowing you to have quick access if you need to tie somebody uh, boat up in an emergency. Also, a paddle float. A paddle float is an aid to assist you getting back into the water if you happen to capsize or fall out of your boat. This paddle float works if you go into the water sliding the blade onto this. This part would sit out into the water acting as a tripod to help you climb back in. Now trying this in an emergency situation for the first time is not advisable. You should practice before you go out. Also a paddle leash. A paddle leash keeps your paddle attached to your boat and this is only for recreation and touring kayak. You do not use a paddle leash for whitewater kayaking. Now if you're touring kayaking or recreational and you happen to flip over and it's windy, it's very quickly your paddle and your boat can be separated in just a few, a few moments. So a paddle leash attaches to your paddle and clips in to the front of your boat, to the deck rigging. And the last aid is what they call a rescue stirrup. And this is used to attach to your paddle with the paddle float and used to make a step to climb back into your boat. Makes rescuing and getting back into your boat a lot easier.